everybody it's Beatrice here again with you and in today's tutorial I will be showing you how to stitch the triple crochet stitch or if you are living in England or the UK or Australia it would be called the treble crochet stitch so what you're gonna need are your hook and I have a five millimeter hook I have a pair of scissors and a darning needle for the end. And you can use any color of yarn. Today I'm just using this plain red so that you can see it show up on the swatch. So if you have followed me on the other videos by now, you already have your single crochet, your double crochet, your half double crochet. And today we're going to get started with the triple crochet. So let's go. So the first thing you want to do is grab your yarn and make a slip knot. However you prefer to make your slip knots. This is just the way I do. And wrap it over the other string and pull it a little bit. And then insert your hook and just give it a nice little tug, okay? Then we're going to grab our swatch and we're going to start at the very first stitch where we made. What I did was I stopped crocheting at the double crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook, the very last stitch. Now we're going to chain three. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. By now, I'm sure that you have mastered the single crochet, the half double crochet, and the double crochet. And after today's lesson, you're going to be a master at the triple crochet. So now that you have the hook on the loop, we're going to yarn over once and yarn over again twice. We're going to insert it into the next stitch to the left. We're going to pull through. Okay. Now we have four loops on our stitch. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, pull through two. Now we have two stitches left here plus this one that we're going to pull through this loop. So we have a total of three loops left. Yarn over, pull through two. Now we have two loops left on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through two. And this is our first triple crochet. This chain counts as one triple crochet. So now again, yarn over once, yarn over again, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through that loop. Now we have the four stitches, four loops, yarn over, pull through two, there's three left, yarn over, pull through two more, two left, yarn over, pull through two, okay? This is the triple crochet. 
So let's do a few more together. Yarn over, yarn over again, insert into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two again, yarn over, pull two, through two. How easy that is and it's also fun. Yarn over, yarn over, insert the hook, pull through the back. You're gonna grab this yarn back here with your hook, pull it through. One, two, three, four. One way to look at it is if you get to this point and don't have four loops, then something's wrong and we need to just start from the beginning. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay?
So now we've gotten to the end. So there you have it. Isn't that pretty? So as you can see, think of it as different levels. First you have the smallest stitch, which is the single crochet. Then we have the half double crochet. Then we have the double crochet. And finally we have the triple crochet. All of these are going to come into, into use as you crochet different projects, blankets, scarves, these stitches are the foundation stitches and they're the most popular stitches to create numerous types of projects and you will never go wrong with using one of these different stitches. You can make a border, you can make a blanket, you can make appliques, the possibilities are endless. So here you go, the triple, congratulations, you can now make the triple crochet stitch. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.